Hey, guys so today we going to do the simulation of debris. Before moving further make sure to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support me on Patreon. I'm going to release the Vellum Multilayer Cloth Sim after this RBD tutorial. Let's dive into Houdini. Take a blast node. Isolate the concrete part. Turn on Delete Non-Selected. Add a Time Shift node and Trail node. In the clamp select clamp to both. Select Compute Velocity. I forgot to unpack. Currently, it's a packed object. Take a unpack node. And add it before the trail node. Now in the transfer attribute, we need to select the name. Now you can see we were not having a velocity attribute previously, that's why I added a trail node. Now take a debris source node. The unpack is slowing down the process, so instead of unpacking on every frame, let's unpack it before the transform pieces node. Cool, now it's much faster. Now in the debris source, increase the density scale to 100,000. In the new version of this node, we have a few more options. If you see, where the building gets broken, the points are getting colored, and the remaining points stay grayed out. But we don't need that points. We need only those points where the pieces get detached from their neighbor pieces. If you turn on Remove Unreleased, it will keep only those points that are detached. Now cache it to disk. Add a null. Now we need to delete the points whose velocity is less than a given threshold. Take a delete node. In the entity select points. In the operation select delete by expression. In the filter expression, write this vex. This code gives the length of the vector and deletes whose velocity is less than 0.01. Now we need to add a few attributes. Take an attribute randomize node. In the attribute name, write pscale. Select custom ramp. Turn on fit value. Since p-scale is a float 1D attribute, set the dimension to 1. The minimum value will be 0.07, and the maximum will be 0.2. Adjust the ramp to something like this. Again take an attribute randomize node. I guess I had missed something. In the debris source, turn on the density attribute in the attribute section. Cache the debris source again. In the randomize node we need to randomize the velocity attribute. In the operation, Select Add Value. Since we already have velocity coming from the trail node. Now in the min value make the value minus 1 in all xyz axis. As you can see we have some kind of difference in the velocity. Now we need some random angular velocity. Copy the above attribute randomize and in the attribute name write W. Increase the global scale to 10. Now to instance the pieces, we need orient attribute. Copy the above attribute randomize and in the attribute name write orient. 
I forgot to change the operation to set value in the angular velocity attribute randomize node. Same here for orient1 also, change the operation to set value. In the distribution select direction or orientation. In the dimension, set the value to 4. Now here, we have so many points, which is not required at all. Take an attribute wrangle and write this code. This code will randomly delete the points. Click on the little plus icon and set the threshold value to 0 0.995. Since in the new version of Houdini we don't have copy stamp node anymore. We have to use copy to points. But to use this, we need to add a string or float attribute on points. Take an attribute randomize node. Before setting up the randomize node, we need a few small fracture pieces. Let's do that first. Take a box. Set the size to 10 along all axis. Take an ISO offset node. Increase the sampling division to 100. Take a scatter node. Scatter around 10 points. Now take a copy to point node and a grid node. Connect the grid to the first input of copy to point and in the second input connect the scatter. Take an attribute randomize node. In the name write n. In the distribution select direction or orientation. Increase the grid size to 20 on x and y axis. Add a subdivided node for high res mesh. Now take an attribute noise node. Instead of cd write p. In the range value select 0 centered. Adjust the element size and amplitude value according to your choice. Now take a Boolean fracture node. Connect the box to the first input of Boolean fracture and in the second input connect the attribute noise. Take an exploded view. Now isolate the few small pieces based on name, attribute, which look good to you. Take a pack node. Turn off the path attribute and turn on the name attribute. Transfer the name attribute. Now take a point wrangle node and write this expression. This code will transform each point in the origin. Now we need to transform the scale based on the longest size of its bounding box. Take A for each name primitive. Take a transform node and write this expression. Cache it to disk, for only one frame. Take a connectivity node. In the connectivity type select primitive. In the attribute type select string. Remove the prefix. Take an assemble node. In the output prefix type debris. If you go and check spreadsheet you can see we have two string attribute name and class. We will use a class attribute for copying it to point because it is just 0, 1, 2, 3 kinds of names. We can use name as well, but we need to write the same name in the randomized node as well which is quite a long process. 
Now select Attribute Randomize node. In the Attribute Name Type class. In the Distribution select Custom Discrete. Select String in the Type. So we have 8 pieces here. Write 8 here. So it will automatically make 8 parameters. Now in the value 0 type 0, in value 1 is 1, and so on. Let's add a point velocity also. In the initialization select keep incoming. Turn on add curl noise and set the scale to 0 0.62. Take an attribute delete node. Turn on delete non-selected. Delete all the attributes except W, P scale, orient, velocity, and class. Now take a copy to the point node. In the first input connect the small pieces. In the second input connect the points. Turn on the piece attribute. Instead of name write class. Now if you display you can see we have copied the pieces randomly on each point. If you want a bit bigger pieces, you can increase the global scale of the p-scale randomized node. Now from the above, copy the angular randomized node and connect after the copy to points. Now we need to promote the name attribute from primitive to points. Since RBD required name attribute on point level. Take an attribute wrangle. Type this code. What are these attributes? If you go to documents of RBD packed object, you can see what is the use of that attribute. Now here we are creating new name attribute. Since on each frame we have new points getting added and deleted. So we had added the frame number as well in the naming. So as you can see on frame 100 we have this many pieces. In this way, the new points won't have the same name attribute. Add a rest position node. Now we need the building as well for the collision. So copy the building null and object merge it here. We just need the concrete part of the building. Delete the rest of the parts. Now take a dop network and let's create a basic RBD setup. Since the bullet solver requires a packed object, let's pack the building as well using assemble. Turn off the create name attribute since we already have the name attribute. Make sure to transfer the V attribute. Let's create a basic RBD setup.
Name the RBD packed object as debris and building collision. For the collision also, we are going to use RBD packed object, because if we use the static object, then it will be too heavy. Select the debris node. In the geometry source select first context geometry. Now delete the channel from the creation frame. Write $F. So now it will emit RBD on every frame. Since we have already defined the V and W attribute, we need to turn on inherit velocity from point velocity. Go to the bullet data tab. Turn on create a convex hull per connected primitives. Set the collision padding to 0.01. This will shrink the collision geometry and match the collision shape along perfectly with the original pieces. Select the building collision. In the geometry source select the second context geometry. Now in the initial object select create animated static object. Now go to the bullet data tab. Turn on create convex hull per connected primitives. Turn on inherit velocity from point velocity. Let's preview this. The building is not moving. But we have debris emission. Let's see why it's not moving. So after looking for the problem, I found the solution. Take an RBD configure node and turn on active, animated, and deforming parameters. Set all the values 1. Since our building is animated on the SOP level, when we feed it into the DOP, the bullet solver will only take the first frame, because we have not defined that this building is animated. So to make the solver know, we need to add animated and deforming attributes. Now in the building collision, select the initial object type as create deforming static object. Now if you see the building is moving now. If any time you think, that we need more debris, then go the wrangle and reduce the threshold value as per your requirement. Now take a DOP import node. In the DOP network drag the dopenet. Since we have named the RBD packed object for debris as debris write debris in the object. We have so many attributes here. Let's delete which are not required. Turn on delete non-selected. Seems like I have written the wrong name underscore original spelling. Cache it to disk. Let's make a preview and see how it looks. The red color pieces are debris. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support me on Patreon.